Hey guys, welcome to another lunch and review. Today I'm going to try one of these Kid Cuisine's Level Up Meals. This was the Dino Nuggets, but I got it. I've had the nuggets and fries and stuff before. This has a different dessert. So it's dinosaur shaped breaded chicken patties, uh, french fries, and then you get a chocolate dipping sauce with coated pretzels. So this is the part that, that I've never had before. I'll still talk about these, but, but that's different. Um, and that looks like you get a lot of fries and fr I bet you don't get half of that amount in there. Um, this is a 9.7 ounce meal or 274 grams. We bought it at Walmart. It was $3 and 47 cents. I'm sure they sell it all over the place, but, but they, there it is. And if you want the dino code, you can scan that QR code right now. Pause it. There you go. Okay. So let's see. It is not a low calorie food. That's for sure. Five, 560 calories for the entire thing. And there's the other info for you. Let's see. We're going to, you can do this in the conventional oven if you'd like. We're not doing ovens on this channel, but you can if you want. Uh, we're going to do the microwave. So only cook one at a time. Cut and remove the film from the tray except over sauce. So you're going to leave um, the pretzels, I mean leave the, the plastic over the sauce and remove the pretzels. Microwave the meal on high for three to four minutes. I'll probably just do three and a half. Check the food is cooked thoroughly. It's hot. Let's stand. Yeah, so get your thermometer out. So we're going to cut and remove film over from tray except over sauce. So the sauce is going to stay covered. It does have a pull tab. Yay, pull tab. Didn't work very well, but it, it had one. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. So we're going to... Oh, let me get a... Here are sizzle orders. We're going to remove this. The pretzels are in a bag. That's what I was trying to get to. The pretzels are in a bag, which makes sense. And I'm gonna take off the plastic. This plastic's always a pain. It's so thin. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to take the plastic off this stupid thing and um, get it in the microwave. And you can see, look at this, it's kind of sad. I mean, look at, look at how many fries you get. I mean, it's almost like really, I mean, that's sad. It truly is sad. The amount of fries you get, it's it's like nothing. But anyway, I'm gonna. I tell you what, I'm gonna throw a couple of these. I'm gonna throw that over there and just I'll uh, have a little bit more room. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave for three and a half minutes, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave, and um, I haven't touched it. I just literally walked over. Look, I like how everything's like look stuck together. <laughs> so you always have to break these out um, and break them apart. The fries, I don't know why they stick together like that. I guess that's potatoes for you in general, but it's just it's weird. Okay, pull these apart a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to take this over the table. I'm not going to stir this up because I'll, I'll do that with a pretzel, but I got my pretzels here. I'm not going to open them until I get over the table, but um, yeah, we'll go over the table and give it a try. All right, so at some point in time, I've stuck my sleeve in the chocolate sauce. <laughs> so after I recorded them, if you were watching really closely, you might even see it. Now you have to back up just to see if I showed it. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you could tell or not, but yeah, I literally had my sleeve in there while I was doing something, probably moving the fries and stuff around. So I backed up and it's like, why is my arm wet? And it was because I had chocolate sauce on me. Go figure. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try one of the fries first because I think they're going to get... Um, bat off quickly and they are kind of soggy very mushy they're about as i mean they they do make the, meet the definition of a french fry as they are cooked and they're made out of potatoes but that's about it they're um they're mushy, they're wet, they're um, no texture whatsoever at all. A baked potato would be better than those because they're they're just awful. Um, I hate to say that. Um, I think they'd be better in the oven, like the regular oven where you bake them because I think they're going to get a little crisper. But um, yeah, the way in the microwave, uh, it might be quicker, but 
It does not make for good fries, I can tell you that much. I would not recommend the fries. Try the chicken. This is the one I kind of put to, to the side. They're definitely a processed patty. So it's been ground up and pressed into a, a shape. Definitely. Not a bad flavor. Honestly, you get a lot of the, um, you're tasting a lot of the breading. Um, th that one was a little dense. Let me see if any, the rest of them are the ones that were kind of by the, the ones that are over there with the french fries. Let me see if they're any better. Hmm. A little bit softer, not quite as dry, but, um, even these have some dry spots on them, especially the tail where it's really small. It's kind of dry and dense as well. So chicken, not bad. I like the texture, okay. Just knowing that it's processed chicken though, just that may affect your decision, but I don't mind it. A processed patty is okay with me. Um, I would rather have chicken, like chunks of chicken nuggets. But to make them shapes, there's no way to do that. And um, yeah, I would rather have chicken, like the chicken, like little nuggets, little pieces, little balls, little whatever, just little shape, not necessarily dinosaur shapes, just regular chicken. Um, and have a breading on them. This breading actually has a decent flavor to it. You can actually taste the breading. Um, it has that kind of flour, but it's kind of got like a cornmeal-y kind of texture. It's kind of gritty. Um, I don't mind the I don't mind the chicken at all. The chicken's okay. Um, is it stellar? No. Um, is it three-year-old chicken? Yeah, three-year-old doesn't care. They're gonna be fine. Um, I'm gonna stir up this chocolate a little bit just to see the texture. It's kind of watery, just for the fact that I stuck my sleeve in it and it stuck to it. It's kind of like a, a really runny, warm pudding is what is the texture of it. Let me try it by itself. Yeah, it's kind of like you heat it up um, a pudding cup. If you heated up a pudding cup and, and put it in a tray, that's the kind of flavor it has. So, is it horrible? No. Um, is it great? No, <laughs> not really. Um, these little pretzel bites, I'm gonna try one of those by itself. They're little like, um, this little bitty pretzel things. In fact, I saw one, here we go. No, that can't reach that one. Hmm. I like them by themselves. They actually um, have a nice flavor to them. Where they've been frozen, um, they're not quite as crispy. Yes, yeah, you can see the pretzel through that one. It's not quite as crispy, but I'm actually surprised they are as crispy as they are. Because sometimes when the pretzels get frozen, they lose all crispiness. They're kind of like chewy or, or kind of soggy, like stale. These actually have some crunch to them. Now, these are tiny. I'm, I didn't do anything with this. It's tiny to, for little fingers to stick it in that chocolate sauce, so just keep that in mind. They're probably going to have ch um, chocolate all over their hands because I'm. I'm having to hold the very end just to get it in the chocolate. And even, even I'm having to be careful not to dip my whole finger in there. You're gonna have a lot more chocolate than you've got pretzels. But I do have to say that this is the best part of the meal. I love the little pretzels. They, um, they have a little bit of a salty flavor. The white coating on them has a nice flavor to them. And it goes well with that warm chocolate pudding yeah, but your your little kids are gonna like this. Like I'm thinking, like your three or four year olds, um, they're gonna enjoy grabbing these and sticking them in there. You don't get a lot, just know that. Um, your three year olds probably also gonna grab the French fries and stick it in there too. Just let's well here we'll try one. Here we go. Not recommended for an adult. Nope, that's not very good at all. Um, yeah, chocolate and potatoes. Now, normally, like a like a think about it, a windy frosty. I dropped that one in there. Um, a windy frosty. You want the you get the chocolate in the in the potatoes. Um, not very good with this pudding like flavor. I'm gonna do that one. Let's try the chicken. Will it dunk? Let's see if the chicken tastes any good in chocolate. Like I said, that's what your kid's gonna do. Mm. 
Mm. I don't recommend that either. Yeah, keep the chicken and the french fries separate. Just dip the, the pretzels in there. It's actually pretty good. But you've got a lot more of the chicken, I mean, a lot more of the dipping sauce than you do pretzels. So they're going to, um, you give them a spoon and they're just going to eat the, the chocolate by itself. Um, and I didn't get them all out either. They're still, there's still quite a few there. And I still don't think you would, even if I ate every bit of this, dipping it in the chocolate every time, I don't think I would get rid of all the chocolate because it was a lot there, which is good. I'd rather run out of the pretzels and have extra chocolate to eat with a spoon than I would to run out of chocolate and I'm left with these pretzels, which aren't bad though. Um, so overall, would I recommend this meal? If you're an adult wanting this, no, don't get this, get something else. Um, I think you're, you're better off getting anything else, honestly. Um, well, I won't say that because I've had some meals that I would never want to eat again. And this actually tastes better than those. But just know that you're getting really kind of subpar par fries. The fries are not very good at all. Um, and again, I'm doing this in the microwave. So I got I got to review it like it's coming out of the microwave. Um, the fries are, are very wet, soggy potato fries. That's all they are. They don't have anything else going for them. Um, the chicken nuggets are okay. They're, they're a little dry, but they're just, um, they don't have a lot going on for them. They're just um, a chicken patty with a, with that breading, that cornmeal -y kind of gritty kind of texture. Um, it's not cornmeal, but it kind of feels gritty. Um, that's the breading you got. If you don't mind that, then go for it. I think there's other meals that have the exact same breading though, that are adult meals that you could get that would have better flavors, um, seasonings and stuff in them. But the chicken nuggets, they're not bad. And then again, the best part of it is the pretzels and the chocolate. Actually, I would give for a, a microwave meal dessert, which you don't get in a lot of adult meals, but um, I would rate that probably a four out of five. Just that. Meal overall though is a solid three out of five, maybe even just a two and a half out of five. I don't hate it, but the french fries really, really bring it down for me a lot because they're, they're not very good. And the chicken nuggets are just kind of in the middle and the dessert's good. So it kind of balances out to about a three out of five. So would I get this one again? I personally wouldn't. Would I buy this for my children? Maybe if I were to put it in the oven and bake it in the oven and make it, it might come out better. Um, I don't know. That's one you just have to try out yourself if you're interested because the fries is what ruins it. And if that were to make the fries better, then it might come up a little bit more. But for me, I don't know that I would buy this. I think I'd buy just a bag of fries and, and bake them in the oven instead of this. So anyway, that's just my two cents. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.